Then it's Pierce, and it's DeRozan in at the three slot. Now here's Curry. Outside Pierce. In the corner, it's Levine. The kick out to Pierce. Shot clock at six. Curry passes to DeRozan. The offensive rebound. Let's it go from deep. The kick out to Pierce. Goes up with it again. The shot will not fall. And the Mavericks going the other way now. Bullock dishes to Doncic. This is it to Powell. Dallas moving the ball around. Vinny Smith passes to Bullock. Powell trying to free himself up. And it's Bullock missing. And it's Curry with the ball, bringing it up for Chicago. And looking at Reggie Bullock, where he's had quite the ride as a pro. Yeah, he certainly has, Greg. I mean, he's been a lot of places during his eight-year career. But the thing I like, no matter where he's been and what uniform he's worn, he knocks down shots and does exactly what's asked of him. Here's Doncic, following the basket by Stephen Curry. Jacks up a three. And Pierce pulls it down. And you don't want to give up that kind of look too often. Took him no time at all on that one. Curry's got five points so far. And the greatest shooter we have ever seen. Curry is just lethal from outside. Hardaway passes to Doncic. Shoots from 12. Dallas again missing. It's been a quick start here for Chicago. Outside Curry. It drops for his third basket. He's missed only one shot. Nice play, and you can see they're gathering momentum. And, you know, they need to stay aggressive here. Build the lead up while they've got the chance. Don't waste this opportunity. Now here is Hardaway. Donchich outside. Let's a floater go. Chicago grabs the miss. Curry kicks to DeRozan. It's good. Well, I tell you what, Curry is such a tremendous perimeter shooter that I think his ability to set up teammates and his unselfishness are often underrated. Dallas making a switch here. Heights checked in. It's been several possessions since they've converted. And they've got to find a way to change that. And a little over two and a half minutes gone here in the first. Pass to Bullock. Fires the three. And Curry pulls it down. Left side Pierce. Outside Levine. From outside the arc, another three for Chicago. Their play on both ends has been superb. We'll see if they can maintain the momentum. And you know, nothing like getting an opponent on the ropes early. You love that if you're on that side of the scoreboard and they are landing some haymakers now. And here is Hardaway after the three-pointer from Zach Levine. I tell you what, the defense should send Christmas cards for that miss. To the paint. Here's Curry. The kick out to Pierce. DeRozan in the corner. Outside Levine. The pass to Curry. No good on the triple. Dallas trails by 12. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. The kick out to right. Hardaway sets a screen for right over Levine. And it's right missing. Here's Chicago. A nice run going 12 in a row. Outside for Curry. And he gets the whistle for the three-second call. Larry Irving's checked in for Stephen Curry. Dallas also making some changes. Josh Green comes in for Reggie Bullock. And Dinwiddie subbed in for Tim Hardaway Jr. And the Mavericks call time here. He's trying to stem the tide here. Yeah, you know, they had to do something, anything to stop this run. You can't just let it go on any longer. Chicago making some changes. Rudy Gobert, he's checked in for Griffin. Jordan comes in for DeMar DeRozan. And it's ball in for Zach Levine. Then for the Mavericks, JaVale McGee comes in for Dwight Powell. And Davis Burton subbed in for Dorian Finney-Smith. And Ball comes to help. And there's the call on Kyrie Irving. That is his first foul of the game. 
first team foul. There's 49 seconds left here in the first quarter. Outside, green. Six on the shot clock. Dinwiddie wide open. It's good from long range. Dinwiddie's got it back down to a single digit deficit for the man. Irving against Wright. Outside Irving. This is to Jordan. Kicks it to ball. Mavericks with the rebound. Green taking his time here to the wing on the left. There's the three. The shot comes out. And so it's Chicago in control with a nine-point lead to end the quarter. They have made it very tough to get a shot off against them. Their defense has been stifling. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. If you're just tuning in, we've got a wide margin on the scoreboard, but uh, plenty of time left for a comeback. And taking a look at Chicago's performance here, guys, uh, what have they been doing or not doing? What we saw in that first quarter, uh, they won their matchups defensively. Yeah, I agree. I mean, you look at the energy, the effort defensively, they put it all out there in that opening quarter. On the court for Dallas here in the second, they've got Hardy. Now this Burton's out there with Maxi Kleba. Then there's Doncic. And it's right in at the point. Pierce, wide open. He fires. The kick out to Ball. And on the way from Irving for three, Bertans grabs the board. And so it's right, bringing up the ball for the Mavericks. They trail by nine points. On the wing, Doncic. Shoots the three. Kyrie Irving grabs the miss. And the well is running dry for him right now. Nothing far. And, you know, you can sense his frustration. This is going to be a test of his resolve here. Now here's Irving. Nothing in on the scoreboard for him. And how exciting it must be to have LaMelo Ball, Clark, on your team. Kevin, clearly one of the most exciting guards in the league. The anticipation was through the roof for Ball, and needless to say, I think he's lived up to it. Rejected by Pierce. They get it back. On Jedge passes to Kleba. Hands it from downtown. Kleba's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. Doncic taking pride in setting the table for his teammates. I love his unselfishness. Steps back. It's stolen by Bertrand. And here's Hardy. Right, right side. Pass to Doncic. Three-pointer. Rudy Gobert with the rebound. And I think that one could have easily have fallen for him. Here's Paul. It's good. He scores. That's his first basket after missing his first two attempts. Now one for three. Boy, Ball plays with so much confidence. You know this guy believes in what he can do, including finding ways to score it inside. And a new group getting ready for Dallas. Dwight Powell's checked in for Maxi Kleba. Dorian Finney-Smith comes in for Davis Bertans. Reggie Bullock, he's checked in for Luka Doncic. And Tim Hardaway Jr. subbed in for Hardy. Now, here's Bullock. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Hardaway passes to Bullock. Let's the free fly. Gobert with the block. And that's why you want Gobert on the floor. He's as good defensively as any big you will ever see. McClung with the bucket. And a closer look here at the hustle stats for Chicago. They're contesting shots and, and have also come up with some significant blocks, putting a little doubt into the minds of the opposing shooter. And I think we've also got to talk about the tempo they played with right from the get-go. I mean, they've been deadly in transition, too. Hardaway. Chicago grabs the miss. Griffin's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. McClung with the bucket. McClung's got the lead up to 13 now for Chicago. 
Irving doing a nice job there being creative and efficient with that beautiful assist. Finney Smith kicks to right over Irving, and it's sent back by Irving. Hard to on the wing. He's guarded by Bullock. Pass to McClung. Going inside. Oh, and that one, no question, powered it down. Offensively, defensively, they are in total control. And don't leave out the coaching staff here now. I mean, their game plan has been perfect. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively, for sure. Outside Hardaway. Shot to stop the run. Chicago grabs the miss. From deep three-point range, another three for Chicago. Talk about execution on the offensive end. They're leaving nothing on the table right now. Yep, they're starting to stretch this lead out. Too much offense to keep pace with. Finney Smith passes to Hardaway. Well, you got to give Hardaway Jr. credit, guys. I mean, he's excellent at finding ways to get to a spot and then make the defense compromise. Now, yeah, shooting their first shots from the stripe in this game. Greg, you have to love the impact that Tim Hardaway Jr. has had on the defensive end. He's got a great wingspan to bother shooters and contain penetration. Always aware of where the ball is on the floor. You could call him an underrated defender. Zach Levine's checked in for Chicago. Curry comes in for Irving. Now Curry. Following the three-point attempt by Blake Griffin. Three-second difference between shot clock and game clock. Knocked loose. Dinwiddie against Curry. Dinwiddie dishes to McGee. And the slam dunk by McGee. Assisted. You know, all McGee needs, guys, is good positioning. Once he has that, dunking the ball is elementary. Here's Curry with the three. And he got that one up in time, but doesn't go in. And so it's Chicago. Riding a 15-point lead at the end of the quarter. Their transition game has been... second half upon us we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be and so it's Dallas with it. 15 point game so with Jordan on the bench here's the group that Monty Williams has on the floor we've got DeRozan Curry is out there with Zach Levine then there's Griffin and it's Pierce in at the power forward Hardaway with it and Curry picks him up defensively here's the break here's Pierce Good, and Curry gets the assist. And Chicago leads by 17. Crafty move that time by Pierce, working himself around the contact to get a shot off. And that was another look at the fantastic mobile one drive that happened a moment ago. And the awareness of his footwork and body on that drive. Wow. Here's Bullock, and he stuffs it. What a pass to set him up. The finish was nice, but the setup was better. Yeah, G.A., the pick working to full effect before the stuff. And, you know, not enough help from the defense there to compensate. He gets a clean look, and that's exactly how you draw it up. Curry kicks to DeRozan. Shoots over Bullock. Outside for Curry. Chicago now working with the new shot clock. Levine against Hardaway. Offensive rebound. Now here's Curry. He's got seven. They shoot again. And he lays it up and in. Curry's got nine. You know, at close range, Curry has a plethora of shots. You simply can't allow him to get those looks. 
Dallas calls timeout. Well, it's been an express lane to the rim. Coach can't be happy about that. And, you know, I think he's going to tell them simply, we have to show more fight on the interior. That's the top priority right now. Chicago making some changes. Michael Jordan, he's checked in for DeRozan. Irving comes in for Levine. And Ball's subbed in for Stephen Curry. And then for Dallas. Travis Bertans checks in for Dorian Finney-Smith. Green comes in for Reggie Bullock. And Doncic is subbed in for Hardaway. Right from outside. Here's with the rebound. Pierce has got rebound number five here tonight. And Irving gets it to go on the assist by Ball. Irving's got his first points of the game. All Irving needs is just a little room to convert, and he's good to go. On Chips left side. No good that time. And it's Chicago the other way. Not quite two and a half minutes played here in the second half. Griffin kicks to Pierce. Irving for three. Bertans grabs the board. Dallas trails by 19. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Anjic passes to right. Down low. It's his first trip to the line. Second personal foul. That one falls for Berton. A different look for Dallas. Maxi Kleba comes in for Dwight Powell. And Dinwiddie subbed in for Josh Green. And so Berton nails both of them. Three minutes gone now in the third quarter. Lane guarded by Wright. Two minutes remaining in the Two minutes. Lane. Dinwiddie with the rebound. Dallas trails by 17 after being moved at the 2022 trade deadline. Spencer Dinwiddie went on a tear with Dallas. Yeah, I think he elevated the Mavs immediately with his scoring punch. He's a guy who can give you buckets in bunches and make plays for others. And not to mention knocking down back-to-back -back game winners, one coming against his former team. Yeah, I would say he was an injection of uplift for the Mavs. Doncic finds Dinwiddie in the corner right with it. Dallas moving it around. Kleba sets the screen for Dinwiddie. The three for Doncic. Griffin grabs the board. Griffin's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. That shot missing. Dinwiddie with some nice D. And so it's Dinwiddie who brings up the ball for the Mavericks. 50 seconds left in the third. On the left block, shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. And Spencer Dinwiddie has always been a great scorer, being used off the bench more and more. He has a great game to be a sixth man. On the Mavericks with some changes, JaVale McGee's checked in for Maxi Kleba. Dorian Finney-Smith comes in for Davis Bertans, and it's Reggie Bullock in for Luka Doncic. Lane. That three off the mark. Three-second difference between shot clock and game. Here's right. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. That's on Paul Pierce. The Mavericks have shot three of six at the foul line. And the first one at the line is good. Dallas making a switch here. Vincent's checked in. And so Wright nails both of them. Chicago leading by 18. Here's McClung. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. Unwilling to let up, even for a moment. That's his killer instinct, just fanning the flame. Yeah, I love the fact he doesn't play the score. He just keeps coming, attack mode. He doesn't know how to step off the gas pedal.
There's 14 seconds left in the third. Now, here's Bullock, guarded by Levine. Beyond the arc. That one misses. The three quarters of play all in the books, and this one all but over already. Chicago leads by 21. And coming up as soon as we return. And there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. Chicago leading by 21. On the floor right now for the Mavericks. They've got Wright. Dwight Powell is out there with Reggie Bullock. And it's Benson in at the two-guard spot. Pass to Pierce. To the middle. On its way from Curry for two. He's now made half of those ten shots in the game. That's his fifth basket. I mean, what can we say about Steph's jumper that hadn't already been said? Now the pass to Finney Smith. And here's Bullock to the wing right side. There's three pointers off the mark. Here's McClung. A three pointer, no good. And I thought that was going to drop. It looked good from here. Bullock kicks to right. Back to Bullock. And he jams it with authority. Seems to have a knack for hitting guys in their spots. His vision, excellent. Chicago calls timeout. present our New Balance Player of the Game, Stephen Curry. And, and to me, the best part of his game has been the work he's done inside. I mean, slashing, driving the lane, attacking the basket at every chance. When he's had an opening, he's taken. The better he played, the more these fans got revved up. And that continued to play out over the course of his amazing performance. Right with it. Doncic, right side. Plays it up off the glass. You can trust Luka to make the most of a close shot. I mean, he won't waste a high percentage look most times. Unloads. Rebounded by Hardaway. Dallas trails by 21. He dishes it to right. And we're around two minutes into the fourth quarter here. Now, here's Doncic. He's tightly guarded. And you watch the way Doncic runs this offense. He's become a master at the pick and roll. Incredible to see someone run it to perfection. And with Doncic in the pick and roll game, he's so good at such a young age. It's amazing how well he reads the defense. But he can also freeze the defender or create confusion with that hesitation, he has all the tricks to run it. All three throws good from Doncic. And you look at all the things Doncic can do. One in particular, he can control the pace of the game. And Greg, I love that about him. His size, his strength, his savvy, his skill set. You really can't speed him up at the offensive end. Everything he does is at his pace and his tempo. He methodically breaks you down. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. Pass to right. Back to Doncic. Five to shoot. Dallas moving the ball around. Here's Finney Smith. Dallas again missing. Chicago leading by 19. Outside Pierce. Lane guarded by Hardaway. 
lane. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Yeah, the defender all over him. He got him good there. I mean, that's why the shot was so far off. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for Chicago. Well, they've continued to play pedal to the metal. Leaking out and capitalizing with ease when they get opportunities in the open court. And another thing they did well was just keep the effort up offensively. Lots of boards leading to extra opportunities, which they converted. And so it's Dungeons with it. He brings it up for the Mavericks. A minute 50 left in the fourth quarter. Look at Luca playing hard, which is always the way he goes. It's a foul, but keeps pushing and takes his shot, playing through contact. Bertinus, he's checked in for the Mavericks. Hardy comes in for Hardaway. At the line for two. All three throws good from Doncic. Chicago leading by 19 points. Here's McQuang. McGee with the block. Boy, and the wingspan McGee has covers a lot of ground. Very useful for shot block. And the whistle blows as the basket counts in a three-point play chance right here. One free throw coming up. Just reliable, guys. He's just always trying to make the right play. That free throw good from Doncic. Luka Doncic is a do-it-all player. I mean, he does everything for this team, including being a walking triple-double threat on a game-by-game -game basis. Relentless in their approach, even with the game firmly in hand. And, you know, until that final buzzer sounds, I mean, you've got to treat every possession like it's crucial. Inside, it's picked off. left in the fourth quarter. Pulls up on the elbow. That shot, no good. Now the Mavericks take it the other way. Here's Hardy. Passes it to Doncic. There's the triple. Chicago grabs the miss. Earlier, they held a 23-point lead. Irving passes to McClung. Goes up high for the two-handed dunk. A one-man show offensively, and that's almost always good news for his team. Right outside. Pass to Hardy from downtown. Dallas, no good that time either. They're making this a runaway. And the only question for me right now is just how big the lead will eventually become. It's a four-second differential between the shot clock and game clock. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. You know, I like how Irvin also keeps the defense guessing, keeps them off balance, and he's so crafty and creative around the basket. That free throw good from Kyrie Irving. Hard to keep up with Irving. I mean, this guy knows how to get to the line. He's a multi-dimensional scorer, always attacking. Both free throws good from Kyrie Irving. 15 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Right against Irving. Now, right. And so Chicago takes this one, and by a big margin. This game may not have been the most exciting we've ever seen, but you have to appreciate just what a clinical performance they put on. I know their fans appreciated it, and we saw at times just stretches of excellent defense. Potency from an offensive standpoint as well. They, they were pretty much dominant. And that about wraps it up. For Clark Kellogg, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan along with our terrific 2K Sports crew thanking you for tuning in. See you next time.